Hello dear friends, this is Yule Humphreys. Glad to be here and share another word with you from the Word of God, a five or ten minute message. I believe and pray God will bless to your heart. I pray that God will do this because I, I ask the Lord to help me say a word in due season to all you that are listening. These little messages are going out all over the world, praise God. And I thank God for it. Bible teaches us many things. One thing he teaches us that God never quits loving you and me. He never quits loving us. I want you to know that, dear friend, that the Lord loves you and he never stops loving you. And I'm talking primarily right now to Christians. And I'm telling you that you belong to him and he loves you as his children. He never quits loving you. He loves you in the morning and he loves you in the evening. He loves you when you're going strong and he loves you when you're weak and, and needing help. He loves you when you're shining bright and he loves you when you feel like you're in the dark. He loves you when you're doing the right thing and he even loves you when you're wrong. But he will help you get back right. I want you to know that God never quits loving you. That will help you. Over in Psalm uh, 63 it says, Oh God, you're my God, early will I seek thee. Early will I seek thee. Oh, my soul thirsts for you in a dry and thirsty land where no water is. To see your power and glory. Because your loving kindness is better than life, my lips will praise you. And when I remember thee upon the bed and, and, and meditate upon thee in the night watches. There are times when I've gone to bed and couldn't sleep. I just like to think about God and pray a very brief prayer in my heart to him while I'm trying to go to sleep. Meditate upon him in the night watches. Because you, you have been my help, therefore, in the shadow of thy wings I will rejoice. I want you to learn to rejoice because you're in the shadow of his wings. You're safe. You're safe forever. You're going to die never. But your body will go back to the dust, but your spirit and soul will go on to be with God forever. And then when Jesus comes back, and he's coming back, that body will be raised and you'll live with him forever with a glorious body. Praise the Lord. Great is he to be praised and greatly is this. Is ever when Psalm 86 in uh, verse 5 it says these words and, it, and it's important. Give ear, O Lord, to my prayer and O attend to me the voice of my supplication. In the day of my trouble I'll call upon you for you will answer me. And so learn to pray. I may talk to somebody right now and you're facing a difficult situation in your life. I want you to learn to talk to God about it. Go to the Lord before you go to people. Go to the Lord before you do anything else. Just go to Him and pray. Sometimes first thing to do is just open your Bible and read it. Find a verse somewhere that will bless your life. Go to God and pray and say, Lord, help me. I need help. And the Lord will help you, and He will undergird you, and He will bring you through. For His help is the help that comes from heaven. And He knows what you need. And He's well able to furnish and supply that need. Over in 1 John, in the 5th chapter of 1 John, we read some very, very, very good uh, verses. In the uh, 4th chapter of John, verse 15, and it says this, Herein is our love made perfect that we may have boldness in the day of judgment. Because as he is, so are we in this world. Now, the Bible is saying here that God's love in you. He loves you. And has given you a new heart. And you love him and you love others. And you will not be afraid in the day of judgment. Don't we be afraid that you're going to face God someday. Because love has opened the door and you are his child. And you will stand before him and he will look upon you in love. And therefore, because of this, we are like Jesus in this world. Now the Bible says there is no fear in love. Perfect love casts out fear. Wherefore, we love him because he first loved us. We love God because he loved us. He loved us so much that he went to that cross. He loved you so very much, dear friend, that he poured out his life for you. He poured out his life for you. Over in the book of John, the 10th chapter, Jesus said the thief comes to steal, to kill, to destroy. That's the devil. 
but he said, I'm come that you might have life and that you might have it more abundantly. The Lord wants you to have the abundant life. He wants you to have all that you need. He wants to supply all of your needs according to his riches and glory. And so he says, I'm the good shepherd. The good shepherd gives his life for his sheep. Oh, praise the Lord. I want you to know the Lord loves you. And he calls you to himself. And he calls you because he does love you. And he's calling you now to follow him. To follow him. To follow him. Over in the book of Romans, it says this. It says, Now let not sin reign in your body, that you should obey it. But rather yield, yield the members of your, of your body to, to God. Yield to God. And that you are alive from the dead, and you shall serve God. So do not yield your members to sin. I'm talking to you Christians. Yield to God. Yield to God. Submit to God. And the devil will flee from you. Submit to God. And the Lord will submit to you. The Bible says, For sin shall not have dominion over you, for you're not under the law, but under grace. Under grace. So you're saved now by grace. You're not going to be judged by the law of Christian. You'll be judged by the law of love. How much have you loved? That's it. It's a new law. It's a law of love. And God is author of that law. Praise God. We'll not be judged by the, by the law that we read the Ten Commandments and all those that we're to try to keep them. But we're to do that because we love God. Not because we have to keep them. But because we want to keep them. There is a difference. May the Lord bless you. I want you to pray a brief prayer with me and be sure that you belong to God and that He will never, never stop loving you. Pray a prayer like this. Say, Dear God, I believe in Jesus. I believe He died for me. I believe He paid for all my sins on Calvary. I believe He rose again. And I believe He's coming back. Come in my heart and help me live for you as the Lord of my life. Amen. Pray a prayer like that and then find your good church and go to it. If you've never been baptized, follow the Lord in baptism and then just read your Bible and pray every day that you can. And God will bless you and you will learn that there is beauty in the fact that God never quits loving you. Oh, Fanny Crosby wrote that beautiful hymn, Blessed Assurance. Blessed Assurance Jesus is mine, oh, what a foretaste of glory divine, heir of salvation, purchased of God, oh, filled with his spirit, lost in his love. This is my story, oh, this is my song, praising my Savior all day long. This is my story. Oh, this is my song, praising my Savior all the day long. God help you to know that you can sing, blessed assurance, Jesus is mine. When you know that he loves you, and he will never, never stop loving you. Praise the Lord. Amen.